Huh? Boink. Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about snowboarding games for the Sony PSP. If you've played SSX on other consoles, you'll be shocked how close the experience can be on the PSP. The sense of speed, the tricks, even the visuals are very close to the original monster experience. Of course that it's not on par with the big versions. The PSP has downgraded graphics and because it has less buttons the controls might feel stiff or just not enough at times, but even so, the game still remains solid. It's good, it's amazing even, and not good as in yeah good for a PSP, no, by good I mean good good. You get less customization options on the PSP, it's true, compared to the other consoles, but you can still choose different clothes and different snowboards and different skis for your character. But aside of that, I can't complain about anything. The game's graphics, even if they are downgraded from the PS2 or GameCube versions, is still good looking for the PSP standards, and even compared to the big versions, it doesn't look that much downgraded. Also you get all the fun challenges and lots of tracks you can snowboard or ski on. It's an amazing game. You get all of the features you would expect from an SSX game. You can even punch the other competitors in a race. But beware that if you are going to play the game on PPSSPP, the game might be glitched, like you can see in some parts of the video, but if you play it on an original PSP, on a real console, then it's not glitchy, and it's a really awesome game. Sean White is another great port on the PSP. Sure, if you compare it with the PS3 and 360 versions, you can find more flaws, but as a PSP game, it's great. The controls have been simplified due to lack of buttons, but even in their simplified state, they are still very solid. As differences from the big versions, I could list the graphics that are downgraded for obvious reasons, the coin collecting was replaced with crown collecting, and as ways to snowboard you get different challenges like speed, trick, slide and carve. And while the game feels like SSX and has similar controls to SSX, it's more laid back. SSX is a thrill seeking game, a game for extreme jumps and extreme stuff. Sean White is extreme too, but is still more down to earth in comparison to SSX, which, which is a detail that doesn't affect the game, I mean just because it's more laid back doesn't mean that it's less awesome, It Sean White on the PSP is still an awesome game, it's just a difference I've noticed. As a conclusion, I want to say that the two games are amazing, having great gameplay, great visuals and great controls. If you want to play some good snowboarding games on the PSP, definitely try one of these two. They are amazing. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.